hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute decor drop dish and it can be used for so many things as you will see later on in my video okay let's get to the video right so here are a few things you're going to be needing acrylic paint air dry clay a paintbrush pencil, eraser, a pair of scissors, and a sketch pad. Here you can see that I already went ahead and drafted my pattern for my monstera leaf. I believe that's what it's called, but I'm going to be showing you how I did that. So you take the object that you want your dish to take shape of, and you're going to be using that measurement to draft out your pattern. I've measured out my air freshener can which is what I'm going to be using and I'm just going ahead to draft out the leaf pattern and adding the veins as well. Okay, so the messy business. So I ended up using three quarter of the content of this package but um, I didn't eventually use everything so I'm just taking out the clay from the packaging and you're going to be massaging that to make sure that the clay is easy to work with. You wet your palms and then you just massage, massage, massage. Once you're done with that you place the clay on your work surface which I've protected with a plastic bag and I'm just rolling out the clay with an old wine bottle to get it flat and um, get a nice surface to work with. The thickness of your clay once it's rolled out will determine how sturdy or how firm your dish is going to be so you want to be mindful of that when you're rolling out the clay. Once you're done rolling that out, you place your pattern that you cut out from your sketch and I'm just going to be using a toothpick to trace out the pattern and take off the excess clay. that I'm going in with a pencil to trace out the veins on the pattern so that they can show on the clay once I take off the pattern. Now after taking off the pattern, I'm going to go in with the same pencil lightly again to uh, make sure that the veins are more visible so that when the clay dries, they will be as visible as you, know, you see on the leaf. Next you align the board that your clay is going to be taking shape of and you turn it over using the plastic bag and gently remove the plastic bag from behind the clay. After that you're just going to be aligning that properly making sure everything is how you want it to dry and then you're going to be air drying that for about three days it's been three days now and this is what my little leaf looks like I painted that gold and I'm going to be showing you how I paint the monstera leaf dish Okay, so you're going to be needing your acrylic paint. You're also going to be needing a big paint brush. You also need a gold acrylic paint, a little sandpaper, and a small paint brush. Now I'm just sanding down the surface of the dish to get it nice and smooth and then brushing off the dust and then you're going to be mixing your paint on a small 
um, palette or plate, whatever it is that you want. The colors I'm going to be using are green, black and a little blue. Um, I'm going for that um, dark, rich, leaf green color because I think it will tie really well with the velvet green couch I have in my living room. You're just going to be adding a mixture of those three colors a little at a time until you get the um, shade that you're going for. Once you get the shade you're going for, you want to go ahead and paint the entire dish. You want to get into every nook and cranny of this dish and make sure that everything is properly painted. Also turning it over to paint the sides because those parts are going to be visible once the dish is placed facing upwards. After that I'm painting the edges of the dish with some gold paint and I'm going to be doing two coats of that. You also want to get those inner circles every corner should be painted gold and pretty much after that you're gonna let it air dry and your dish is ready to use Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed watching this video or you found it very helpful, please don't forget to let me know in the comment section or give it a thumbs up. And please, please, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Till then, ta-ta!